What up, good morning, how is it going you lovely, lovely people? Today is Saturday the 18th of July. And yeah, it's a great morning, I've just had a hot shower, made the most of that, that's probably going to be the last hot shower I have before I get to Darwin. It's going to be another eight days, so yeah, it's going to be a good trip across. Um, got to get up early and head into the markets this morning. Um, looks like Nadia and Steph are already awake, don't know about Dom. Um, but I just went in the shower and yeah, wait for everyone to get up and then packed away and then head off to the markets and then maybe Cable Beach, we'll have to see what the others want to do and then um, yeah, head on out towards the Gibb River Road which we're going to take to get to Darwin which is like a, a track basically that goes all the way to Darwin so that should be good fun, that. Actually, I'm looking forward to that so yeah so wait for the others to get up and then have some breakfast. We've all packed up now, which is rather swift and very good, which is good. And everyone's having breakfast, standard wheat bix, bananas. And yeah, I pretty much. I know. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, just gonna pack away and then head into the markets. And maybe to Cable Beach to have a look. This is gonna be a beach. So we've seen lots of beaches, um, so I don't think we'll spend too long there. And well, maybe it's a different beach. It is a different beach, yeah, it's but I'm sure it's yeah. sand and water. <laughs> well, we went to one different beach, Shell Beach. Shell Beach, yeah, that was different. But yeah, and then get some shopping for our journey across, and then try and get as much shopping as we can because it's it's expensive along the way. So yeah, just made it into the markets now. Pretty busy, I absolutely love markets. Markets are the best. Yes, I they love are it. the best, especially in Asia, but this will do. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have a look around here for a while and uh, just browse all the goods. Well, it's a free me from the prison and the railroad would be my tank club. I will bet I'm moving a fed a little down the line, far away from the walls of prison. Okay, so the market was pretty small, so we had a quick look around. Um, and we'll now come up to Cable Beach, which is like the main beach in Broome. Everyone comes to just to have a look quickly, um, see what it looks like, and it's pretty special. But it's a beach. It's a beach, yeah. <laughs> We've seen lots of beaches on the way, so. <laughs> maybe some shells, yeah, maybe some crocodiles. Maybe not. Maybe not, no. I don't know. So, yeah, just come up for a quick look, and then I'm gonna go get some shopping. So the watercolour is awesome, pretty cool, um, and yeah, it looks like a nice beach, but like I said, we've seen so many beaches, <laughs> so many beaches, so, you know, it's uh, just another beach really, but yeah, it looks pretty nice, and I'm sure the water's probably a lot warmer than the rest of the beaches we've been to. <laughs> yeah. No. Found another friend. James. 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 What's James's story? <laughs> I can't give him a name without giving him a story. Okay, you're a housekeeper. Yeah. Can you dance? I can't see it. Bye, yeah. This is a ghost crab. They don't live in the water. Oh, really? They live under the ground. <laughs> he, will, he will die out here because he's only coming out at night time. Okay. Not turtle. And now he's happy. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Bye! Thank you for your day. Dom and Nadia did the shopping and yeah, we're going to have to... It's like an impossible task. Yeah, exactly! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've got to fit this in there. <laughs> we'll manage it's some... Work. <laughs> we'll... It's worked every time so far, but... If I need to <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we got like four or five days of shopping because it's so expensive on the Gib River. So, yes, yeah, plenty of food to go in the back. Um, hopefully, we've got space. No, you, you, you don't believe we've got space at all, do you? 
We managed to fit it all in, and there's lots up here, all stacked up above the fridge. Um, but yeah, we managed to fit it all in. Now we're having a celebratory ice cream because ice cream is awesome. <laughs> it's probably melted by now. It's like a puddle of ice cream. It's a drink. Thanks. Okay, so fuel stop, the most expensive of the trip. It was 187. It's getting more and more expensive, and it's only going to get even more expensive as we go on. So, yeah, stop for lunch as well. A lot earlier than, well, an hour earlier than normal, but the next stop's going to be a long way away. So, you know, decided to have lunch now and then just carry on trucking um, to a campsite close to the national parks and stuff like that um, that we're going to go to. Um, so I can get up nice and early, get them done, and just carry on down the Gibb River um, road, which is going to be very good. I'm looking forward to that. Um, it's going to be hard, I think, but it should be good fun, nice adventure. So we drove past the junction for the Gibb River Road for about 40 kilometres to come to a little wild, I thought it was just a roadhouse. It's actually like a little town in the middle of nowhere. And it's diesel for 158. So we're going to fill up here and then go back to the Gibb River Road because I didn't want to start it after I'd done like uh, 250 kilometres um, and then have to worry about fuel on the way. I'd rather drive 40 kilometres to start with it and then have a lot more fuel. Um, it just makes more sense and plus it's a lot cheaper here so it's going to be the cheapest fuel we have in a while. Um, yeah, that's going to pay for it and then we're going to go and find a campsite probably somewhere on the road. Um, the Gibb River Road, so yeah, go and find somewhere along there and then yeah, camp up for the night, set up and cook dinner. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Gibb River Road. You'll see a dirt road in front of you. The tyres may be feeling a little bit deflated, but that's for your ride comfort. <laughs> Please keep arms and legs inside the vehicle at all times and do not leave children or baggage unattended as it will be left behind. We do not have time to go back for them. So in, enjoy your journey. There's a cow's head. You'll probably be seeing many wildlife along this road. Um, so yes, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy your time here. It will, it will be an adventure for you. And I hope you enjoyed. My name is Tony. I'll be your tour guide. Forgive me if I get things wrong. It's my first time here. So yes, enjoy your time here, ladies and gentlemen. Found a campsite. There was a perfect site like right up there at the top. Uh, but there was someone already camped there, unfortunately. Like this, the site around the corner is quite busy. Um, but yeah, look at this place. It's like such a unique... It's, and it's an old quarry. quarry. Um, we're just down the bottom. Um, so hopefully it doesn't rain. We should be okay. I don't think it's going to rain today. But the landscape here is absolutely spectacular. So yeah, definitely a unique camping spot. I haven't been in anywhere like this before. So it's very cool. <laughs> Okay, so I just set my GoPro up for a time lapse, shooting through there. There's a lot of little driveway through the quarry, so yeah, hopefully we'll get a good one. And everyone's going to bed, and it's eight thirty. <laughs> eight thirty. Don't have any time. It's dark. And so it's... everyone's going to bed. The night, guys. Good night. Okay, as I just said, everyone's gone to bed now, um, including me. Um, we were out laying under the stars, which is pretty cool, just laying there, just watching the stars, just listening to the wildlife, uh, crickets, and stuff like that. Um, yeah, just enjoying the night. Uh, we didn't have a campfire tonight, there's not much firewood around here, it's all got small trees and they're all alive, so you can't really chop down live trees. Um, it would have been nice, but hey ho, you can't have one every night. Um, and yeah, today's been pretty good. The markets were pretty cool this morning, we like them. And then the beach, um, that was quite a nice beach, but like I said, we've seen so many beaches along the way, it's just another beach you do today. So um, yeah, and then it was just a long drive, um, a couple of stops along the way, and then yeah, now we're on the Gibb River Road. Um, Take us most of the way to Darwin, um, I think. Um, and yeah, there's a few good sites on the long way, a few like gorges and canyons and stuff, so it'd be cool to see them. Um, unfortunately, we can't spend too long here. There's some really nice waterfalls up north, but it's 
a good three or four days to sort of see that. Um, we just haven't got the time, unfortunately. Um, and yeah, we're just going to see how it goes. Just going side to side. But it's going to be up early in the morning um, just because I'm normally up early anyway. And I like the fact that it's half eight. <laughs> so um, yeah, get up nice and early. Um, probably with the sunrise, which is normally when I get up. Um, Enjoy the day tomorrow. So yeah, I'm gonna sign off now, guys. So remember, guys, always be kind to strangers. You never know when you're gonna be one yourself. Catch you later, guys. Yeah.